Yo, here we go. Another new episode, guys. Um, we'll start this episode. Sue wants to give a shout out first. Yeah, so one of the best things on the road is you meet great people, whether it's face to face or via social media. And um, Derek and one of our subscribers actually very sneakily arranged for a delivery for me. Um, and just want to say thank you so, so much. Um, essentially, it is a giant box of Nespresso in all different flavors and strengths. So, best thing about this is somebody's thought about me and what I enjoy and sent me something. So, thank you so, so much. So, guys, we're currently off the road as well. Um, we're not going to double too much into that because it's still a process we're going through. That's going to be in next week's episode. So, if you don't want to miss that episode, um, hit the like and subscribe below and below here. Um, so, We've you don't miss been, it. Been off the road for two weeks already. We've got ourselves in a bit of um, mischief um, with the ute. Um, so we're currently trying to sort that out and get back out there, uh, but we won't dive too much into that. In this video, we're going to do a six month review on the Vacation of Caravan. Um, so before we jump straight into that, let's just jump back to where it all started. We, we were very fortunate to be able to record the build of our caravan in the factory, Australian made here in Victoria. Um, so we're just going to roll on some clips there just to go back because we do have some new followers. So if they haven't seen the build video, um, let's roll on the next few clips for you. Given the opportunity to film our caravan in the factory, what well, gave me um, a lot of confidence in the van? Well, the great thing about when you do watch a van being built, it's actually a great opportunity to see the product going into the van, how they put the van together. You've got a lot more understanding when you see the process versus when you just buy one off the floor. And I think that gave you a lot more confidence know, in terms of... I know of a lot of people are saying, most probably thinking, well, we don't get to watch our caravans being built. The whole idea was to create that video because that process they did with our van is the process they go and through every van. We were just fortunate to record our van for vacation to try and get it out there what and how they build their vans and watching it it just gave me so much confidence on what we were had planned to do with that caravan this year it's a um, mind-blowing opportunity like when you actually see it happen it's it's amazing so when i picked the van up i was obviously when you pick a new van up you're a bit nervous on how it's going to tow. And I remember Maddie saying to me, the owner of vacation, saying it's going to tow like a freight train, mate, because the wheels were set a little bit further back because of having the front door, the door at the front of the van. The wheels have to go back. And I tell you what, we did 1,000 to 2,500 Ks, I reckon. And I absolutely enjoy towing the van. So by the time we got up to Fink, and the reason why we went that way is we were going to go up the coast because we we're meeting a whole bunch of awesome people up at Cooktown to, to tackle the Cape is the rain that was happening in sort of northern New South Wales and southern east, southern, um, southeast, southeast Queensland. So our thoughts are with those people and all the rain that has happened throughout. Like, don't think that we're not ever thinking about you people. It's, it's horrible to have seen the amount of rain. Um, and just to let you know that we hope that everyone is okay and that people are managing to get themselves back to a normal life of some sort. So we ended up going up the centre. It was a good time to give the caravan a bit of a shakedown because it's mainly bitumen that we tackled. Yeah. It was great. Think. But it did have sort of some great campsites that were unplugged or off grid. Yeah, so, so we're giving them, so that as we well. were sort of getting like every, using everything, just trying everything out before. Um, and I suggest that's. A good idea when you get a new van is just, you know, you've got to get out there um, and, and, and give the van a shakedown. Just remember that 
these caravans are man-made, so there is room for error. error or mistakes. You know, we're all human, so just thought I'd throw that in there. But we gave it a shakedown, and um, we had an awesome time uh, sort of getting to know our caravan. So we're all some clips on of us sort of making our way sort of up to Alice Springs. fair few days wasn't it? Alice Springs. After a fair few days on the road you know we didn't just drive straight from sort of Victoria to Adelaide. we took our time we actually spent a few days in Adelaide but that's okay and then up to we have arrived now in Alice Springs after about two and a half thousand k's the caravan is towing fantastically we, we're not having any dramas as such um, at the moment and we decided to go we were invited out to a camp along the Fink Desert Race weren't we? along the racetrack, which is a really good opportunity to test out the van sort of off-road sort of, sort because of, there was a little track. Yeah, we, we no, there's a little bit of a dirt road, but we actually turn off onto this like real like like farm track sort of thing where yeah. it's one lane and you've got the grass and you've got another little lane, so you're sort of going. And um, I get a bit nervous about how far a caravan could, can actually lean before you put it on its side. And um, the yeah, the road got a little bit but the suspension, that's the first time we saw the suspension and yeah. how it just stepped up and down, which was incredible. Um, and it was such a gorgeous little spot. We got to spend two days, again, fully off-grid, which gave us fully another opportunity grid, yeah. to test the power system and the water system. And we had just installed a little diesel heater. Um, so it was a really good time Everything for us as worked well. amazingly. Like the sun was shining the next day. The solar was working. So these are all the little things we need to iron out. Um, when you buy a new caravan so we managed to yeah we managed to do that and then after that we actually went out to the West McDonald Ranges yeah um, to like there's a, a there's a few camps on the Fink River it was called Fink River camp, I think it I think. was yeah yeah and this is another part where we saw the suspension working yeah. um, and again, you know, I've, I'm, I'm always like a bit petrified. Maybe I think about think too much into it, but we get to see the suspension really working again, off grid, along along this like beautiful. The backdrop of this place is just amazing. And um, then after that, because we were battling with the internet a bit, um, we decided to keep going north to chase a bit of the warmer weather too. Yeah. And um, we then drove all the way, sort of stopped a few camps along the way, and. Um, Still nothing wrong with the van, which is great. We got to Mataranka and then what happened? Oh, Mataranka. So, um, had a few wines and yep. I'll show you what happened. Here Here we go. Is. Here's the parcel. Here's the parcel. Meet Bob, Mr. Bob. So we have a new travel companion. A new member of the Just Banning It crew, Mr. Bob. He's going to be a life changing, um, addition to our travels but, and our um, family we just thought that you know we miss Sophie quite a bit and obviously Bob is not going to replace Sophie but um, we don't have any kids and we miss Sophie and we love having dogs so yeah here we go So that was uh, a reason why we had to sort of hard tailor to Townsville. Now originally I wanted a plan to go across the, I think it's like the Gulf, across the top and sort of come out around, I don't know, around Cairns, north of Cairns somewhere, so we could then meet up with the team in Cooktown. But because Bob had to be picked up a bit sooner, and with a, and actually at the time Mataranka was having a bit of rain um, across that top, so we were a little bit nervous. Going out, the talk was that the roads could get a bit slippery and wet. So then 
we decided to hightail it around to sort of um, Townsville. So back down the three ways and across. But we were going to try and do this over sort of like a week. And um, again, it comes down to how we built this van. We got to see some amazing um, camps, free camps, um, most of these were, I'm pretty sure, um, across that, um, across the top where we, this is our second time actually across yeah. the top. And it's quite interesting because often you always talk about like the destination and getting to a destination that you have planned, but sometimes the actual journey to that destination, which isn't planned, you kind of drive, stop, yeah. drive, stop, and drive, stop, can be most of the fun. And this is the thing like, what I liked about um, dealing with vacation is like they asked us what sort of van we want. Now we had been on the road for like after maybe a year and a half on the road. We sort of knew sort of what we wanted to do and the, this what you're about to see is this type of camping that we like to do and having built this van with Vacationer and how they help you design the van that suits your needs is, is, is such because everyone has different needs in when they go sort of caravanning or camping and you know the power system was one of ours so the next few clips that you're going to see is all these awesome camps that we were able to get to not worrying about power the the sort of the road conditions you still got to keep that in mind but it, by now i've already got a little bit of confidence in our caravan which is which is awesome like the way we did it and um, we're going to roll these clips on and, and, and um, show you the amazing places we managed to get to with this van. Life changes. Life changes. We picked Bobby up in Townsville. At this stage, guys, the caravan is towing amazingly. It's, it is really like my, our first van. I struggled to tow straight off the bat with yep. because of the weights and all that. The second van not to, wasn't bad at all either. But it's always that nervous part about getting a new van, and 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 how you pack it and how the car's going to handle it. Because I do feel that every van toes differently. And um, this one you said felt like it was on two rails mate, behind I tell you. you, that road across the top, especially from Mount Isa, you go around Julia Creek, that road is really like bumpy, the, there's potholes, because I think the trucks really drive it out there. And yes, the van, but the suspension, the van is just handling so well. And um, I'm, I mean, I'm actually enjoying towing the van at this stage, like really am. Like Sue's like, oh, I'm just like, we can just keep going. I'm really enjoying it. So we pick Bobby up. And we head north. We start heading north to Cooktown. And this is where it sort of gets interesting. So we, we all team up and we head off. And I've got to be honest with you. I was nervous to tow the van. Because look, we don't want to break our gear. But, you know, reassurance is that they build the caravans to do this. So yeah. I thought we had... A really good van behind us we obviously well i feel like we've got a good tow vehicle for this type of terrain and the biggest thing is let your tires down we let the tires down on the caravan and we start on the corrugations and boy well it was i blown away because it was pretty bad this year and that's what everyone was talking about this year up the cape was pretty bad um we don't know well, everyone was coming back saying don't do it so yeah we were, we were passing people that way we were passing people this like both ways and they were guys are you taking your van to the top and we were like yeah and they're like oh you should rethink it and i was like well i did get quite nervous at bramwell station to be fair I actually was gonna. I was thinking, considering pulling out, but everyone reassured me that, like, no, we'll be okay. And the funny thing is, it's like you've got to, you've got to sort of get on top of the corrugation so that you know you're skipping across the top of it, and to get there feels like you're gonna break everything you possibly can. But the caravan held up. Surprise, not surprising. It held up bloody well, and I still remember. We stop every sort of 100 k's or at a roadhouse. I'd say to Sue, we'll all go back and check inside the van. Because I was just so nervous. My heart would have sunk if I had found something. And she'd come back to the van and 
nothing nothing wrong all the cupboards were still closed no drawers out no rails out on occasion i'd open up the fridge the bottles would still be upright in upright, the fridge mate, honestly yeah. that's uh, honest honest like we're trying to be as honest as we can here look the roads were terrible for me they were they they were shit yeah and this goes on for kilometers like a lot of people say like oh you get to the tip you're done oh you still got to turn around and do all of that again back um and i was nervous but as we were going along I was getting more and more confident with the caravan. I wasn't trying to do anything silly uh, that because I got more confident. The caravan just towed and handled the corrugation so well. And we had a variety of caravans up there, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not here to down anyone. There was caravans with cruise master suspension, there was caravans with other types of suspension, all pretty much the same. Our suspension, the Elko suspension of the caravan, really held up well and i can also tell you that i have not seen any signs of a leaking shock as yet i know that there's people that have had it um fortunately we've i don't know maybe i just can't see it but i've been under there to check and she's held up pretty damn well so yeah now i'm going to roll on some clips about and you can try and understand the type of terrain we were going on we did water crossings up to the door i mean i know this caravan does sit quite high which actually helped us up there because getting onto the Jardine River and getting out the other side, many of the caravans did hit the back or bottom out on the spare wheel or something. We're we just, nice and high though, I have to say. We just say, cruised on, cruised off. We're probably a little bit higher than um, up standard yeah. and it gave us that, that extra piece but that we needed. But caravan know? held up fantastic. So guys, you can see in the footage, I feel like we've really sort of, I don't know, put it to the test, but at the same time, we're enjoying ourselves um, up the Cape. Now, yes, the fridge did break, but when we had the technician in Cairns have a look at the fridge, he actually took the fridge out and he ran it on a 24 hour test to see if there, if there was a cracked pipe or what the problem could be. And the feedback I got back from him was that there was no cracked pipe from the corrugations and he just said mate the fridge just doesn't work now he couldn't tell me if that fridge broke because of the corrugations or it could have broke on the bitumen he said mate it looked like it was just a faulty fridge let's put a new fridge in exactly the same as what we had we've had no more dramas uh, and the water pump it um it broke but to be fair all our other caravans we've been through at least more than one water pump per i think caravan. the first caravan we went through two water pumps yeah. the nova we had one new water pump and now with this one we've had one yeah new water pump. i just don't know what we're doing wrong but this uh, they just don't seem to i don't know hold up but that's all been fixed and it's great and then we had to get back down to sort of um sort of cans and that was quite nerve-wracking because most of this part we were doing alone alone and you know what they say if it's going to go wrong it'll most probably go <laughs> wrong when you're alone so um, but unfortunately we got back, no more dramas on the caravan, we got the fridge fixed in cans. We've now travelled down the east coast back through to Brizzy um, and down to, we were very excited for this, we were heading to the vacation Namasta in Newcastle. And we've never been to Namasta before, so didn't know what to expect I from was it. expecting like 20 people there. There were 65 or 70 caravans at the muster, all vacation to own, and there were also people that were staying inside the um, cabins. the cabins that were awaiting their caravan. They were allowed, they were all invited as well. And we actually decided not to uh, record there, but I did pop the drone up. So I'm going to roll some footage on of just the muster, um, if you're interested in seeing like sort of how many caravans were there. And um, what a superb weekend. I mean, if anyone does have an opportunity to join a muster, yeah. I'd say go for it. It's, it's a great experience. It was awesome. Inside the van, we'll start with the bed area. 
as you can see guys no dramas here no dramas the cabinetry is solid the dust reduction system is still working fans are excellent we've got the hatch above the bed which is great um, the windows yeah. were good and the blinds when we do travel we were given a tip by vacation just to open them up so we basically travel with them open like that like so that. That there's no tension on them and that preserves them really good and they've actually st stood up quite well to be honest they've stood up very well but we are looking after them if anyone's got a tip just one question the actual sort of paper part of the blind if you know how to give that a bit of a clean if there are any tips or tricks yeah. Drop it in below. Drop it in below, guys. TV, excellent, no dramas. Um, with the TV, we always take it off when we travel and we lie it on the bed, so there's been absolutely no dramas. So or even, our, like, even on the bitumen, guys, we don't drive with it up there. No. And up the Cape, we actually just tucked it right up inside there on top of the bed. To and it. it still works, so that's a good sign. Yeah, over to the kitchen. Love the black pack. Absolutely love the fact that um, I've got my waterfall bench top, which is beautiful. And I kitchen. like this, guys, as well. Like, it's held up. There's no laminate peel. We haven't had any glue going on there. So that's held up quite nicely. And, and, and even going sort of in and out here, like, you can see that's there's no dramas there at all. Yeah, absolutely. The but, big thing, obviously, is the cabinetry. The cabinetry is really well made. It's really yeah, solid. Like, We've had no issues with rails. We've had no issues with locks. The only thing with the cabinetry that was an issue, yeah. this little black... Um, what do you call this? Oh, a little like screw cap sort of screw thing. Screw cap fell off, so we glued it back on, yeah. and that's oh. the drama. Appliances all good, microwave. Microwave is still in, I've done nothing to it. Solid, radio still working. Guys, this is actually the um, the NCE microwave. You don't have the um, plate. rotating plate in it, so. So good. So good. We actually have one of those navigator bags to hold the plate, but because we don't have it, the plate in anymore, you don't actually have to worry about that. So that's Pack pretty up, good. You just leave it as it is. Yeah. Um, stove's going really well. Obviously, we've got nothing cracked. Top, so electric plate, all working well, nice, solid, well made. Oh, hang on. There was something that happened up. Was it up the Cape? We pulled off and we left the you you left the stove up, didn't you? Oh, I left the stove up. And the and the kettle, and we were driving, and Sue stopped. The kettle was on the floor. Fortunately, that didn't break, but that's our own fault. Sue, Sue does the inside, so she left that up, but fortunately, it didn't even damage the floor. Got so. my grill, got my um, gas yep. oven, which I love. We've spoken to you about the fridge already. Fridge we is, didn't yeah. have to replace the Air fridge. Aircon didn't fall out. Air I've got fantastic. this little thing here. You'll see that is is a, when we turn it on, it vibrates a little bit. This thing, so I've plugged it in with a, with a piece of cardboard there. But if there are any longer term tricks or fixes, yeah. please let us know. It just know. vibrates a little bit and when Sue's trying to work, it um, yeah, it just makes because that work, yeah, and then when I above. found a piece of cardboard or something lying outside, I've just sort of stuck it in there and it sorted that out. So that's just, yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Really good. Then off to the bathroom, we have had one minor issue, so we've just had to readjust the door. Um, I don't know. It's happened to us on all our vans. Um, it's really got like, like a, vans. it's got like a little bolt up in there that the little nut undoes and then it, it, the, 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 the door falls little off. Nut. Um, guys, that I think just falls under sort of maintenance. I think all the vans yeah. use the same sort of system. Um, all three vans we've had have got the same system. So it is a, you know, you've got to maintain a caravan like you maintain a house. If you see, you know, that sort of thing. It's starting to stick. It's, you've got you to know, it's starting to, like the door, if it's starting to fall a bit, you've just got to get up there and tighten and pull the door back up and then lock the locking nut. And for some reason, maybe I'm not tightening enough, but it sort of un undoes itself and then the door would fall a bit. I think that just falls under pure maintenance, to be fair. And if you want to come through and show Yeah, nothing, yeah. The and the washing machine's lasted. It hasn't fallen off the wall, which is... Which is great. I was a bit concerned when we were putting it up. We re obviously reinforced it at the back, but you think like that on the wall would would sort of fall out, but it actually hasn't. So another great thing about watching our caravan, we filming our caravan being built, um, and seeing that's on the wall, that's pretty good going. Um, nothing else is broken in here. Shower door doesn't even need adjusting. So. Everything's, Everything's good. good inside. Um, I'll whip around nothing. Oh, the clock fell off, but that's just because the double-sided tape didn't hold. Um, table's still fine. Look at this. Oh. Bob's had a little nibble. Bob's had a big nibble. He's, um, he started to chew. Yeah. Where are my sunglasses? I'll get your sunglasses. So now, you if you don't know, I, I wear sunglasses a lot because my eyes just can't take the, um, 
the glare of the sun and I struggle and I, I, I squint all the time so I do wear sunglasses a lot you would see in my videos I've, I've generally always got sunglasses on because like you can see now um, these are pretty expensive sunnies I do spend a bit of money on sunglasses because I wear them all the time and um, we're that. inside with Jason Lisa the other night having having dinner we've come back and um, yeah well, he's absolutely dinner. destroyed it fortunately like the lenses are nothing but I went fishing with Jason the other day because I battled with my eyes, I thought oh, I'd better use them. And um, <laughs> my, the plastic just ate into the side of my head, so. Well, he's had that. He's had your phone charger phone cable. Phone charger cable. We can't leave anything around with him now anymore, so. And he yeah. did have a go at you, your phones, but I caught but, him. Anyway, that's just a little update on Bob. But, guys, yeah, inside. All good. All good. Super, super happy with it. Like, big things. Like, no um, appliances fell out. Great, six months, can't complain at all, and we've, I think we've given it a shake The other down. thing is with actual wear and tear, when you're living in a caravan full time, we've got two adults, we've got a yep. dog in this van, like you can normally see wear and tear in a van, and it's just holding up superbly. Like even the cabinetry and stuff, haven't started fading where you touch and you and you rub all the time, um, no complaints whatsoever. Like obviously we've got a little bit of dirt, dirt and stuff that... I've still got to try, when I get on the roof tomorrow, I'll get, I'll open this up, close this and try and vacuum that out a bit. But it's all just maintenance, guys. Like, it's like anything at home too. Um, floor's held up well, so this is the honeycomb floor. Nothing's pulled out, all the cabinetry, solid as. So letting your tyres down, I think, saved us there. Um, hot tip for that. Like, even if you're driving on any dirt road in a long period, just drop your tyres down. But we're going to pop outside and show you outside the van. So guys, outside the van, now look, the outside the van's taken a bit of punishment. We are, we are sort of testing the van to its limit. We do do a lot of sort of off the beaten path stuff. So it's got nothing to do with that. It's, it's us not destroying the gear, but we're just out there testing it and getting to these awesome um, campsites as well. Outside the van, got no dramas. If anyone knows how to get rid of bloody these things. Fine scratches. These fine scratches. Sorry about the wind a little bit of a breeze coming over um please drop a comment in below like yeah i don't know i don't is don't there a polish is there a buff what can you do windows as well if you know of a way to get rid of the scratches in the windows that'd be great like and they're just shared. very fine hairline scratches just from you know the branches and stuff leaves. going through because sometimes you'll go down a track and it's all good and then it narrows in a little bit and like like i try and say we're not out there to just destroy our stuff but we're out there to find awesome camps and and, That's and how just we go out and enjoy it. But outside, caravan is held up well. You can see the red dirt still. That's tomorrow's job. Yes, this is still a, a question mark at the moment. We're so trying to figure where the, out. That's where the door flung open. And that's, that's where the door's flung open. We're still, we, we, we're still if you know of an option, um, a lot of you have given us some options, but we're still trying to look at what is the best option for that we're without big... taking the side off because I, I, I understand that if we start taking the side off that's when other dramas start happening like leaks and leaks and stuff like that so I don't really want to go down that route so yep sound bars the covers covers yeah it's all right I thought it was coming off no it's not um sound bars still 100% fine the waterproof stuff works great because I've washed the van and we, it still works um Couple of little screws come loose like this one here sort of worked its way out again. I've got to put that one back in. I don't know why. I've got one little screw there. I'll just put it back in with a little bit of um, sicker flex or something. That one just seems to want to always come out. But legs, the Elko legs, no drivers whatsoever. No I, I do use a rattle gun on them. I know some people say don't because you 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 work the gears a bit. Um, we have had no dramas with that. Tires, no dramas at all. The hatches. Keep the dust out, that's the main thing. That they're, they're all working, no broken hinges or anything. And the awning's perfect. Awning's perfect. That's another thing that can give you some issues and that's been absolutely hundred yeah. percent. Look, we don't really you know, when the wind's blowing, like I've learned from the last caravans, I just put it away. Like I don't wanna because those things can break. Um so we do try to look after that. Another quick one, I'm super happy. Six months having this toolbox on the front and it's done its oh, job. Oh the toolbox. Like, we had actually a lot of questions about this toolbox, but the toolbox was vacation when they build the vans. They've obviously got some sort of contract with a supplier, with a supplier because um, there's no there's no branding on here. For, so I'm sorry if we haven't answered any of those questions because I actually don't know where it came from. Um, I don't know if they sell directly. It was vacation supplied through yeah. through through but their these, supplier. These these plastic things generally 
break off. I try and look after them and, and put a little bit of something on them so it stops it from the sun. But that toolbox, would I build a, another caravan with that, a toolbox like that? Yes, 100%. I would. 100%. The motor in there stayed dustless up the cape. And you know, you try to look after your gear. And yeah. It costs a lot of money and like we don't have money to replace this stuff these things so i really try come around here this is something i wanted to show you this is this shows i've shown this to a few people off the tape right hang on i'm just gonna have to hang navigate on. through bob's yeah. um bob's riding a muck on his lead here so this is how we do it but anyway i'm actually very surprised i'm gonna shake this i hope the camera can um pick this up right we've got the trailer on the back here but the wood box, which was, you know, carry some bits in there and some wood up the cape. The spare wheel. Um, I know we always relate to the cape, but the cape was a real shakedown. Spare wheels on the back, right? If I just do this, all right, you can see that vibration. I don't know, 650 k's up and 650 k's down the cape. This, this rear bar did not break. So nothing broke. Like nothing came loose. Spare wheels still on. My trailer is still on, like it handled the cut, nothing went on. The jerry cans are still on. We did add those on, by the way. Um, doesn't take a lot to shake that. Sh I was going to say a bad word, but shake the crap out of it. Um, nothing's broken over there. Unfortunately, we parked up here. Nothing wrong with the van. Hot this water. side is absolutely fabulous. We didn't want to tamper with what Vacation it did to the water pipes under the van because, you know, we wanted to try it out and see what they did worked. Now, a lot of people put pool noodles and some foam around all their pipes underneath the van. This has got like a plastic corrugated sleeve over some of the piping. We left it. We had no dramas up the cape. Were we lucky? I don't know. The roads were pretty bad this year. Um, I don't have a stone stomp or anything on the front of the van. I took a wild chance and we have had no problem with the water tanks at all. Uh, no leaks, no broken fittings, nothing like that to report, so that's good. Tires are held up wonderful. These are the BF Goodrich tires. We drop these down to 20 psi going up the Cape. Any dirt roads we go on now, I'll sort of just drop them straight down. Um, saves the caravan, guys. I want to show you another thing quickly. What the toolbox did. So, I don't have a stone stomper on the caravan because we couldn't get one. Uh, and, time. In, and time and money and stuff so when we were going up the cape i did think oh i'm just going to destroy the front of this caravan with stones but this is where the toolbox kind of saved us because it's so high i think it was just high enough to be fair this copped a lot more the stone this yeah there is a bit of stone very Not, fine very bit. fine like i did say um after the cape like we did a video um that I was just most probably can spray that Raptor coated with that Raptor stuff. That's an idea. So I take the toolbox off when we have to uh, possibly sell the van. Um, it'll just clean up, but it's not terrible. Everything up the front held up. The Do 35s held up. Um, everything vacation it did to try and minimise damage has worked perfectly. Even the cover on the valve. Um, yes, the red dust is there's still vision of the red dust. I'm still trying to get rid of it. That's not. That's just. Yeah, there's a cover on the valve. There's also a little cover over the tap. Over your yeah, head. little in cover front. on the tap. That took a couple of knocks, so that must probably save that. Um, but toolbox held up, and then having the motor inside there, it didn't move up the cape. So I was very happy with that, not damaging the, the outboard motor. Because, you know, they're not cheap. And to get them repaired and sprayed and all that kind of stuff, it's not ideal. So, guys, everything down here is 100%. The tap, everything is in, 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 in perfect working order. So... Up the top of the roof, nothing's broke, everything's working, it's, it's dirty. It's still Very wet. red silicone up so there. So we're going to try and see if we can get into Jason's hot wash tomorrow and see if we can give the old van a bit of a, a wash. I'll get up on the ladder and actually get on the top and give it a good scrubbing. So overall guys, six months living in this caravan has, has been an absolute, it's made our travels easy without having you, we do worry about it, but it's shown that it's proven to us that um, it can handle what we throw at it. So the next, um, you know, trip of this is sort of going over west. There's not much to do until we, I suppose, we get up the Gib, where we will be giving it another shakedown. So, but what's your thoughts on it? I just think that one of the best opportunity, well, things about this caravan was having the opportunity to build a caravan and the actual process that goes in through vacation, understanding our lifestyle, how we wanted to live and use the caravan. 
helping us to design it for that because in all honesty if you ask the question what would you change I would change nothing there's absolutely nothing I would want to remove change or add to this van I know that you would like airbags um, that's the only thing it's 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 not a have to it's just an easy it's, a life. it's like when you get somewhere you can just airbag it you don't have to level it and and stuff like but that the so van as it stands it's beautiful visually guys it's been a great six months so it's far really i'm gonna go inside sorry beautiful visually. i'm just worried the wind so guys yeah we're super super happy with the way this van has handled and and what we've thrown at it over six months um it's really made us confident of tackling like more off-road the power system the the build quality um everything just it just yeah it's, it just handles what we throw at it and yeah. I reckon we've got an awesome six months coming up where we're going to possibly throw some more at it. So keep, keep, keep a uh, look out for some of these review videos coming up. But guys, also, if you're interested in um, a vacation, a caravan, by no means, we don't have a discount code. We, we're not trying to force you to do anything. We don't get any kickback out of it. There's a link in the description below. You fill that out and you send it off and they'll get the local um, dealer. Oh, jeez, what have you done now? He's fallen out the bloody van. He's crazy, this dog. Um, yeah, they'll get the local, the closest dealer to get in contact with you. And that way you can maybe ask questions. And if you've got any questions in regards to this caravan that you would like us to ask that we haven't answered in this video, drop a comment in below. Let us know. We'll try to get back to you or reach out to us on social media. And um, if you don't want to, like anyone to ask, like look, see your question, reach out to us directly. Just and, before um, we yeah. finish it, um, what we'll do is we'll thank you for watching. Have a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and while that's all rolling, we'll show you what we do with Bob outside.